Hi friends, this is Jody Renshaw from the Thrifty Pigeon and Studio 36. And that's Mowgli uh, whining over there because my husband just left from lunch. And Bailey is right behind me, not whining. So I have a haul to show you today. And this haul is from two separate days. Uh, one was at Goodwill and the other was at Salvation Army and the Catholic thrift store that's local to us. So not a whole lot of stuff, but some of it pretty neat. So um, yeah, let's get into it. Also, I think this is where I'm going to be filming my hauls from from now on is in my office slash extra bedroom. And I just, my husband and I just put curtains up yesterday, so that's nice. Uh, these I got from Goodwill. I don't even think I showed, I don't know if I showed them in a haul, actually. But they match the artwork that I have in here, so that's great. And apparently, without knowing it, my style is boho. I knew that was popular. I didn't quite know what it meant. Uh, a lot of florals. A lot of mismatched I guess bohemian I don't know I just I just buy what I like so uh, the bed is not looking very bohemian today it's just I was lazy <laughs> so I'm still doing a lot of work in this office to make it conducive to all the different things that I do in here so and also still keep it as an extra bedroom for my son's best friend. So, anywho, let's get started. So first, I bought for me these earrings, which are so very me. And they were, I think, a dollar twenty something. Yeah, I love them. I don't even know if this is the real company, but. They always have like these new earrings and a rack off to the side at Goodwill, so I check it out every once in a while. Then a Pioneer Woman plate that you have seen me purchase before, so now I have a set of two. But I just looked them up before um, taping and this is not the popular one that people pay up for. So people do buy them, but it's not a very high, um, not very high market value. So I love them. I may keep, I, I'm not going to keep them. I can't keep them. You guys know how many plates I have now. It's getting ridiculous. And I think I'm just going to stick with my Pyrex, what is it, butterfly gold or gold butterfly? I can never remember which way it goes. So I may hold on to these two and wait to get a full set and see what happens. And speaking of full set, I showed you some salad plates I bought in this um, design. I'm just trying to take this. I don't know why I don't take the stickers off first. Oh, well, it's half off. But um, I showed you I bought a whole bunch of these plates made in Romania. Salad plates or appetizer plates. And this was 50 cents. So I had to just get it and see if I can find more. There are no comps for these on eBay that I could find at all. And I didn't look further than that though, so I could have checked some other places, but I really don't see these and I really like them. So I'm gonna keep looking for those. Meanwhile, and I always say this uh, later than I should, if there's anything in this haul you see that you want, please let me know and we can make a deal outside of me posting it so that I don't need to pay all those fees. So it tends to work out for people and every everyone who's done that so far has been pleased. So um, yeah, just my email is in the description. And then for me, a planner. <laughs> my world, a dollar, it was a dollar. And it has utensils of, oh, highlighters, okay. But my world is chaos right now. And when I saw this planner, I actually went to go put it back, even though it was only a dollar. Because I'm like, my life is too chaotic to even plan. But I've got to do something. Something has to give. So here we are. 
Hopefully that helps. Another golden book. Not vintage. It's a vintage story, but the book is very new, as you can see by the barcode. So I'll probably make this one into a journal. And it does have uh, an issue on the back. So upcycling it is a lovely idea. Oh, this is neat. So there was there were several pieces of artwork slash craft from this particular woman. She's a fiber artist. I want to take this. Um, no, I'll take it. Okay, I guess the sticker's coming off better than I thought it would. So this is a local fiber artist in Belfast, and somebody must have received some of her work and didn't quite get it, or I don't know. I don't know why you'd give this to Goodwill personally. So it still has the tag. Oh, it did still have the tags. They, I don't know how I just detached them, but this is the name of the artist. Is that showing up? She was charging $30 for this notebook. So all fiber art, all hand sewn, just so lovely. And a blank book. And I got this for a great price. And I love that it looks like a map. So very thick too. Look at those, look at that art she created. Cause that's all uh, fabric glue, or at least it feels like it. So I'll be reselling this, but I'm not sure how yet. Uh, under what venue is what I'm saying. Then I got, you know me, I bought a pillowcase, $1. I have a thing for pillowcases. Okay, a couple, all right, I'll show a few things before I get to that. So at Salvation Army, I found Ziggy. Look at Ziggy. Oh, I loved him so much in my, I guess, in my preteens. So this is going to go, likely go on eBay because they sell really well on there so I think that's where this this little guy is headed and then for my grandkids I grabbed this little baby it's the snowy day baby from Ezra Jack Keats book the snowy day so very clean no stink one dollar I was so happy so that'll go to my grandbabies then I couldn't find anything on this. Um, it's the Secret Garden, which when I looked up who makes the Secret Garden, you know how like um, Target makes thresholds and so on and so forth. I couldn't find who makes Secret Garden. It says made in Indonesia. It's porcelain. It's dishwasher and microwave safe. It's not vintage. Uh, it's adorable and as you can see I'm just so into floral I am so into floral so I I don't know anything about this and I don't like holding on to things till Easter or when you know whatever holiday they are for so I'm gonna try to find out a little bit more and then hopefully just put it up on eBay so do you remember last was it my last haul or the haul before I need scissors excuse me excuse my giant forehead that I showed you some Christmas um, a tablecloth and I yes yeah, some napkins well at Salvation Army I found more in that vintage elven not uh, yeah elven I suppose uh, pattern Look at these. Isn't that great? They have three kiddos. Big thing of porridge. I don't know. 
I don't know if that's porch. So there are four of these, and these will go in my Christmas and July sale, and they are in excellent condition. And I do, if I remember right, oh, look, they're not, they weren't ever used, just like the other ones. They were $3.75 a piece. And I think we figured out that they were Swedish. The other ones were. Maybe this one matches the tablecloth. I mean, maybe this pattern, because the other one didn't. But anyway, that this was a really nice find. And um, this is silly. This is just silly. It was 25 cents. I... I kept passing this by like five visits and nobody was buying it and I was like what do I need it for but I love the colors and it's a container so I need it I need a container who doesn't need a container so it's mine now I have no idea what's gonna go in it but uh, I just loved all the colors and I wish you could see the artwork that I have up some I'll show Someday soon, I'll just kind of walk through all my artwork up here, but I'm just all about color, color, color. So, it was a quarter. It stayed for me. It just kept waiting for me. Okay. Bangor Green Drinks from 2015. I did well. Yep, 2015. I did well on some shot glasses from... Bang, it wasn't Bangor Green Drinks, it was Bangor Beer Fest, I want to say. For those of you who don't know, I live in Bangor, Maine. And so this is our Paul Bunyan statue that's in Bangor. Um, I don't know if this will sell well, but basically you bought one of these and then you paid $5. I, I went to a couple of them. You paid $5 and then you could drink from the keg that someone had made and brought to that business I'm really not selling this well I hope it's been revived Bangor green drinks and green drinks means green like environmentally green because you would all gather at this place of business say the rock and art shop and there would be a couple kegs that were a uh, beer made by some locals and you had your own cup and you would just keep pouring and you donated and it it the money I know some of the money went to putting up bike racks in in Bangor so you could park your bike um downtown so again trying to be environmentally friendly so anyhow that'll go on eBay I think and then I found this at um the Catholic thrift store I opened it to make sure everything was in it. Oh, I My computer's on and I'm getting notices. Let me turn that off. Sorry. Okay, so this is a pattern that you follow using this paper piecing and a template. And I, found, I bought it for $3 and I found that it sells on eBay for about 40. So that was nice. That was very nice. Another pillowcase for me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I have so many pillow pillowcases. It's my way of loving and holding on to fabric, but it having a use, you know. So, because I would just hoard fabric. This looked, I think this is homemade. Yeah, this is some yardage here. Ah, oh, smells so good when the older folks donate things to the Catholic thrift store and they have the best laundry detergent and they probably ironed this. Just found a Jan Brett Christmas story that I don't have so that I could read this on my countdown to Christmas that I do in December on YouTube because I want to do a whole new set of books this, this year. And since I'll be doing a couple of mystery boxes in my uh, Christmas in July sale, I thought this would be fun. I have no idea of the age of this. It's a little crusty. Wait, is that the side that's a little crusty? It's got some dings. But I just love, I love the peanut guy in it and the colors. So 
I'll use I'll put a bunch of goodies in here and I'll either auction this off or sell it at a certain price and then guys this cookbook this cookbook I kid you not is from oh, I don't want to rip it as I go let's see okay here we go this is the third edition and it is 1935 1935 it has the tiniest attic smell but not a bad one swans down angel food mm -mm. oh and a little bit of color added what's that a new alphabet for quick breads Those brownies, right? Doesn't even say gingerbread. Sorry, gingerbread. So I'm tempted to keep this and try a couple of these. Um, we'll see. Or I'll put it up in a live sale with some other old cookbooks that I find. Now this book is ridiculous. Which is why I had to buy it. This the Make It Merry Christmas book. Look at how kitschy 70s that is. Let me look for a date. I was right, 1977. Huh. Dedicated for all kindergartners over the age of five, especially my own two beloved wonder kinder, Sean and Sin, C-Y-N. So... The table of contents shows just how silly some of these crafts are. Um, the back did too, actually. This tin can ornaments, macaroni tree, dried flower note paper, basket of kindling cones, salt dough topiary tree, calico bow wreath, and there are photos throughout. Let me, let me try to do this this way. And illustrated directions for some of these crafts. So if you want to do some 1970s Christmas crafts, I got you, boo. What is that? What is that? What is that? Seriously, what are you? nature flower oh here's that guy in color oh I guess you're supposed to draw him on on velvet you don't want to see me do that you do not want to but the macaroni tree killed me if I can find it oh a macaroni mirror <laughs> oh gosh this killed me so this is going to go in my Christmas in July sale. And then I thought of, so I'm doing these pottery sales and then uh, hopefully soon, uh, like very, very soon, some live sales. And I wanted to do some themes. So next, my first live sale is not themed. I already put it together and it's just a really nice mix of vintage goodies my live sale one of my live sales for july will be the christmas in july sale so i've been gathering things for that and then i thought i want to have a coffee mug sale because people for one coffee mugs do really well on ebay and i could just put them there but i think it would be fun to do a live coffee mug sale so i collected a few that I'm going to be using for that. A couple of these I'm not, and that's because they are worth quite a bit on eBay. And that would be these artist sketchbook Lennox pieces. That one's gonna have a hard time showing up with the yellow. Yeah, sorry. But here's another one. 
that should show up better. So these are Lennox and I bought three of them and when I looked them up they sell really well at upwards of $20 a piece. So Lennox is a very well done porcelain and I've learned a lot about Lennox from the Nomad, uh, the Antique Nomad, George. And I really appreciate it because I really didn't understand porcelain and I really didn't understand Lennox. I did have those Lennox cats that I bought recently in a haul that I showed you in a haul and they sold right away. So I, I don't even think I'm pricing things right, which is fine because I still made a profit and maybe they're going to make a profit. So um, anyhow, I'm now fully invested in looking for Lennox. So those will be on eBay. The I think all the rest of these will be in my mug sale and I have so many other coffee mugs. So I'm the first one I'm going to show you is Naughty. And I'll probably, it could either go in my Christmas and July sale or it could go in the mug sale. But I hope this isn't against any rules because I don't want to get demonetized or in trouble. I'm not going to even tell you. You'll see it when you see it. Okay? <laughs> and it's natural. You'll see it when you see it. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> by 2015 by Silver Buffalo. And it's big. I showed it to my husband and he was like, oh, oh, cool. A Christmas mug. Cool. Cool. I showed it to Isaac and he immediately saw it and he was like, mom mom I said someone will love it someone will love it son and this one for the mug sale is by fringe in California though made it manufactured in China but I kind of got it as a joke live laugh love because this has become it's so overused that it's become a joke it's it what is that called when something makes fun of itself? It's become a caricature of itself. Is that right? So I think somebody would get a real kick out of that. And it's really nicely made. It looks like almost like a beer stein. So, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have that in the mug sale. And then this one, you guys, the owl. Look at that. And the owls are different. Like this one just shows the one wing. Like, what's up? And then this one is like, what's up? So, yeah. I like that a lot. And it's clearly uh, studio made. So, so that will go in the mug sale. And then this is so, um, I was trying to explain it to Halise. I was like, it's in the zeitgeist. It's, it, it's pop culture. It's, it's everybody it's so again like kind of overused that people are really into it but the whole world's greatest dad mug is that okay there we go and this is the vintage one this is one of the original world's greatest dad mugs so look at that font i love it i love it so that will go in the mug sale and then these two are weird to me. So if you can help me with these, they're stunning, not marked at all. Beautiful, right? But look how small, I don't know if you can tell how small that opening is. So here's, oh gosh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it this way. Yeah, you can. So like you hit your nose when you go to use it. And I'm, I'm just... I'm not sure of it. I wondered if, like at first when I saw it, because it's just so, it just comes in so tight up here, I thought, well, maybe it's a vase, but then why would it have a handle? So, I don't know, but they're so beautiful. I mean, if somebody wanted to use them as vases, or somebody with a small nose, this nose is not small. This nose is not small, but these are so beautiful. 
Lastly, you guys know that I rescue things. And this, this is something else. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna try so hard to show you though. So this mug is handmade by AED. It's a great sized mug. It's not even an applied handle. It's kind of, you know, built into the, to the piece. I don't know if you're going to be, a, be able to see that it leans wrong. Oh, I don't know. Yes. Okay, so you can see there that it's a little bit wonky. <laughs> it's so wonky. It makes me so happy. It's all wrong and all right. It's all right. And I love the trees. I love the artwork on it. And I don't know if like a studio makes these like this purposefully because it seems a little better made than like a home project, but n no, it doesn't. What, what am I, what am I even saying? I mean, <laughs> maybe it was a seconds. I love it. So this is going in the mug sale. Yeah. Anywho, that's it for that haul. And uh, again, if you see anything you want, message me. Even if I say it's going to be in a live sale or eBay or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just message me and we'll, we can figure something out. And um, I think that's it. I'm working on a bunch of other stuff, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to entertain and uh, rescue things. Entertain and rescue. Sounds good. So I love you guys. Thank you for your support. And I hope you guys have an amazing day and almost weekend. So love you. Bye for now.